Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about PyTest, which is a testing framework in Python. And we're specifically going to be talking about testing output, so things that would be printed to the screen. Um, so not return values, but printed output. Uh, and let's jump into it. I actually did a little bit about this in the very first Explains video, so check that one out as well. Uh, but we're going to be specifically focusing on the output portion of things today. All right, so to get started, we're going to set up a virtual environment and we're going to install PyTest. That is the test framework that we're going to be using today. And we are going to make a very simple function called hello. And it's going to take a name and it's going to return nothing. And it's going to print hello, 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 name. So very, very simple function. And then I want to write a test for this. Let's actually write a little main function that we can run this. Um, hello, sys.argv1, for example. And that'll be the first argument that we pass on the command line. So very, very simple. Name is main, exit main. Okay, cool. So if we run this now and we say Anthony, you'll see it'll say hello, hello, Anthony. Um, but now I want to write a test for this bit of functionality here. And so we're going to use PyTest to do that. And uh, let's write our tests. Normally, I would write them in a separate file. I guess we can write them in a separate file. Sure, why not? ttest.py uh, test hello. We can do from t import hello. Uh, and we're going to test this function. Now, in order to test the output of a particular function, there are two fixtures in PyTest that are built in that make this easy to do. And they're called capsys and capfd. Uh, capsys is kind of the less heavy handed one. Where is it in here? Here we go. Oh, I guess there's also capsys binary and capfd binary. Funny story about that. <laughs> Uh, Capsys binary and capfd binary are actually some of the first contributions that I made to PyTest before becoming a core dev. But anyway, that's that's not super important. We're going to be talking about Capsys and capfd today. These are the two that you'll use the most often. And so in order to use the Capsys or capfd, and I'll talk about the differences in a bit, you add that as an argument to your test. This signals to PyTest, I want the Capsys fixture for my test. Um, then what you can do is you will call your function, which has this printing side effect. So we'll call hello, Anthony. Um, and this has its side effect. And so, it, you know, it doesn't really turn a value. So there's nothing really to assert about it here. Uh, but we can interrogate the, the printed output of this by using the capsis function. And um, the, the, you know, the option that I use the most often is to output, uh, or I guess standard out, standard error equals uh, capsys.readoutError, and this will retrieve both of the output streams. Um, I actually talk about standard out and standard error in another video. I'll try and remember to, to link that in the description as well, but now I feel like I'm going to be less likely to remember, but we'll try. Anyway, um, and so from standard out, which is the default of where print goes, uh, we should be able to get that value there, and we can write an assertion based on it. We can assert standard out uh, is equal to hello, hello, Anthony. Now note that since we called print here, there will also be a new line at the end of this. And so now that we've written that, we can do pytest t test.py, and you'll see that it runs this test, and you know the capsis fixture is able to pick up the output that happened before it and then do that. Now note uh, capsis resets every time you call it. So if I were to do if I were to duplicate this line here, uh, this is going to start, this is going to end the first output capturing session and start a new one in between these two. And you'll see this test now fails and you get an empty string here. Um, and this allows you to, you know, test multiple things or reset this. Um, so let's say, I don't know, Daniel for, for instance. And so you could see now if we change this to Daniel, um, let's actually put this up here so we can get both of them. Uh, this resets this section here and like any number of prints that would happen in between here So like if I double this function here This capsis will capture both of those calls instead of just one and so that's one thing to look out for um, Make sure that you're you know specifically capturing the amount of uh, Printing that you want to capture All right, so now let's talk about the difference between capsis and capfd capsis is kind of the uh, less heavyweight version of the 
uh, output capturing, it only captures printed stuff that happens in process in Python. So this is things like sys.standardout.write and the print function. Um, it can't really capture other things that go through other mechanisms, such as, you know, like a subprocess that prints. So if we went to re-implement this function in a different way by, uh, and I don't know why you would do this, but you could, uh, using subprocess instead of printing, we could do subprocess.check call echo hello hello name for instance and you'll see if we run this with uh, I don't know Jeff uh, you'll see that it it still works but it is now is sub processing out and if we run our test now um, this test now fails you'll see that capsis said that there was no output uh, and this is because capsis doesn't pick up anything from like sub processes or other you know, C-level outputs. Uh, it's only going to capture things from the Python standard streams. Uh, but fret not, you can switch from capsis to capfd. Uh, what capfd does behind the scenes is a bunch of file descriptor trickery magic. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but it, it basically changes the process in place such that all of the standard out descriptors point at a temporary file, and then it reads from that temporary file. And this allows you to capture things from subprocesses. Oops, we got to change. Oops, cap sys to cap fd in all those places, and so now we should get a passing test. Uh, but anyway, that's how you test output in pytest, either by using cap sys or cap fd, and then this read out error methods. There are other things that you can do with these fixtures, but that's I think this satisfies like the 99% case. But anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.